All right, guys, we're back with episode three of What's Cooking. So tonight I am going to be making a fall harvest quinoa salad. Um, it's not like a typical salad with, you know, all the lettuce and stuff. It is a warm salad. We're going to use squash and a lot of different fall harvest vegetables and fruits, and it's going to be really exciting. I've been looking forward to this actually all week. Um, so first I'm actually going to add chicken to this recipe. It doesn't call for chicken, but I'm going to add some cooked chicken breasts in there just for some protein. So I've got my pan warming with a little bit of olive oil in there and I'm just going to throw my chicken breasts in there. I usually just brown them a little bit on each side and then pop them in the oven to finish cooking. So I am going to do that right now. And I also, prior to starting my video, I have my acorn squash right here. All right, so this acorn squash is gonna be the squash that's gonna be in our salad. Um, acorn squash, all, all squashes, are very, very hard to cut and to peel. So a little trick I learned is when you're dealing with any squash, you poke it a few times with a fork or a knife or something. You can kind of see there's some knife cuts in here. And you just microwave it, like the whole thing, just like this on a piece of paper towel. Two to three minutes, depending on the size of your squash. This one I did about two and a half minutes. So while the chicken is cooking, I'm going to dice this up and then I'll be back to show you some more. Okay, so I've got my squash all diced up into this bowl. Uh, the chicken is in the oven. I just have it set at 425 because that's what I need to bake the squash at. Uh, so to those squash, we're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. The recipe actually says to just cut the squash into rounds and like leave the skin on and bake them in rounds. But this is going to be a lot easier, especially for the kids to eat later. They're not going to want to have to sit and dig around. So I just diced it up now and I'll just bake it this way. It'll also probably bake faster. Uh, we also have two tablespoons of maple syrup going in there. Again, I don't measure, I estimate. We've got half a teaspoon of cinnamon, or about that. A pinch of cayenne pepper. More if you want it a little spicier, totally up to you. And then just some salt and pepper. And then we're gonna toss this all together and we're gonna spread it onto this baking sheet over here and I've just put some parchment paper on that just so it doesn't stick and get all gross on the pan. So we're gonna toss this around, get it nice and coated and throw it on that sheet. Um, whoopsies. If they were in rounds, you should probably bake them for about 20 to 25 minutes. But again, I've also had this in the microwave for two to three minutes beforehand. So that softened it up just a little bit. I'm going to put it in probably for about 15 minutes and then check it. And then while this is in the oven, I am going to start the quinoa. So I will show you guys how to do that shortly. Right, time for quinoa. So. Um, you can buy it pre-washed, which is what I normally do because otherwise you've got to wash it and like let it drain and stuff like that. So I always buy the pre-washed stuff so I don't have to re-wash it. And we're just going to do one cup of uncooked quinoa. And then we're going to put two cups of water in there. And you can put salt and pepper on it if you want to. You don't have to. I usually don't if it's going in a salad like this because it's gonna have other stuff added to it like with the dressing and everything like that. So I usually don't add the salt and pepper or olive oil or anything like that. So I'm just gonna pop it in a pan, quinoa and the water, cover it, put it on high. And that, when it comes to a boil, you're gonna turn that down to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes until the little like grains start to come apart. So while that is cooking and the squash is in the oven, I am going to roughly chop some more kale and I am going to cube up a little apple, dice up an apple, and I'm going to attempt to take the little seeds out of this pomegranate. <laughs> Pomegranates are so tricky for me. I generally don't use them because I hate trying to get the seeds out, but 
I've seen a couple of ways to do it and I will try one with you guys to see if it works easily. So I'll be back to show you how to do pomegranate in just a minute. Okay, so I just stirred that squash. It smells amazing. The maple and the cinnamon, holy cow, it's so good. It smells so good. I took my chicken out, it's done. So I'm just gonna let it hang out in the pan, still covered to keep it warm. And now we're gonna attempt to do this um, pomegranate here. So the first thing that I set out to do was to roll it around like this to kind of loosen up the seeds inside. And I can hear them kind of crunching around in there. So let's take that as a good sign. <laughs> Again, pomegranates generally don't cooperate for me and it takes me like 40 minutes to get all the little thingies out of there without the um, white junk. So, okay, then it says to score it around the outside like this. Ooh, and it's juicing. May have popped some while I did that to twist it open. Ooh, there they are. And then just kind of Break it open a little bit like this, loosen it up a little bit. Some are popping out. And then it says to take a wooden spoon and hit it on the back end like this. Probably should have used a bigger bowl. They're coming out. turning it until you're all the way around. You may have to loosen it up a little bit more once you get the ends or the ones around the edge and it's done. So I'm going to finish this and then I'll be back to show you how to put the whole salad together and make the dressing. I finished the pomegranate. That came out pretty good. I'm pretty proud of myself and I'm happy with that method. So I'll probably stick with that next time I have to deal with the pomegranate. Uh, so now we're going to make the dressing. So I've got some tahini here. So we're going to use about a quarter of a cup of tahini. And it says to put it in a blender, but I love these little blender uh, shaker cup things. So I just mix it all in here. And then I just throw it on the blender and do it that way. So it's a quarter cup of tahini, two tablespoons of olive oil. two tablespoons of lemon juice, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, half a teaspoon of turmeric, or a little more. I really like it, so I usually add a little more. And then just salt and pepper. And then we're gonna blend that up. And I will do that not recorded, so you don't have to listen to the blender mixing all this up. <laughs> okay, so my dressing is all mixed up in the little thing. Um, and I put most of the ingredients in here already. The kale is at the bottom, and I cut up the chicken. The apple, here's the squash, it looks so good. Um, the quinoa and the pomegranate, and that's all just sitting in there right now because we have a couple more steps to do. This is halloumi cheese. So halloumi cheese is also called grilling cheese because it's very firm, so you can like fry it in a pan or grill it outside and it stays together. So I've never done it. So we're all gonna do it together. And it just says to take eight ounces of the cheese and cut it. And then you heat, I should probably turn that on, a little bit of olive oil in a pan. It says just drizzle some olive oil in the pan. And then you just fry this in there for one to two minutes per side until it has like a nice golden color. And then this goes on top of your salad after it's fried up, I will most likely cut it just because the boys aren't going to want, well, they probably would want to just eat a big brick of cheese. Um, but it'll be easier to just cut it up and dice it up and put it in the salad. Also, I am going to dice up an avocado and put that in there. And some pumpkin seeds also go in there. Like this salad has everything in it. This 
completes every food group, has every like nutrient. This salad is like the bomb. So this is heating up. It looks like it's pretty good. We're gonna start. We're just gonna take this in there. Make sure that the oil is underneath all the way. And we will see how this goes, you know, because it's a new experience for all of us today. <laughs> Oop, there it goes. It's sizzling a little bit. I'm going to have to probably do two different uh, sections because it's not, I don't have enough room in my pan. And I need my little pinchers. There we go. not sticking so that's a good thing and I will once it's done one to two minutes per side I will pop back on and show you guys what it looks like okay so this is what the halloumi cheese looks like after it's been in the pan and, it like it's and can I tell you like this is my new favorite cheese ever in the whole world <laughs> you could just eat this and whatever so I'm just cutting it up into these little chunks to make it easier to eat once it's in the salad and I'm about to put that in everything else is in and then I'm gonna add the dressing and I will show you guys what it looks like after it's all tossed up